Thank you for joining me, and welcome to part two of Horus. We're only going to get through one chapter today, because it's kind of long, so hopefully you enjoy the video. Free point of view. My world ripped apart. Dude, this game is deep. <laughs> oh, I could have just jumped. Can I, like, jump into the wall? Ah, I can. Holy crap. Dude, this game just got... Crazy good. Seattle did it. I already went to where I needed to go. This is awesome. Can I like get down though? Like, no, you have to walk around. Okay. Part of the basement was flooded, and the stairs had collapsed. I can't handle water. I didn't know what was going on, but I knew I wanted to get back upstairs. That's locked. The gate was locked. I would need a key to. I had to be careful. The electricity was going haywire okay. in some places. Oh, 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 oh. Oops. So, jump down the hole. Yeah, we've already done with electricity. <clears throat> what the heck is going on here? Ah, uh, that's cool. Ahahaha. <laughs> Uh... Ooh, wow. No, you wanna jump. Dude, this is awesome. How long had I been asleep? Months? Seriously? Years? I was, I was so wondering. confused. Where had everybody gone? Oh no. What's going on? Going out the front door. I was slightly scared. This yeah. was the first time I had been outside on my own. Looks like this place is abandoned. But I like to collect a million pieces of garbage. I knew what I had to do. This had to be my purpose. I would clean a million things, so yeah. I could become a real boy. Whatever clean a million I things. I had to like sit on some of these. For like a second. Like little things are quick, but big things take a second. And they're gonna be hiding stuff from me. So my task is to collect a million things, huh? Whoa. I'm sure I can go over the edge too, right? Yeah. Oop, but that's water. See, I overlooked that stuff. Alright, we don't want to really go in any doors yet. I want to clean the rest of this house up. Five thousand junk collecting. Well, we're making progress. Jump. Can I die from falling? I don't think so. Okay, let's check this out. Let's I go. was surprised to see an old man, but not as surprised as he was. <laughs> it turned out he was blind. <laughs> he was kneeling on the floor with his hand in a drain. Oh no, when I asked I him what he was doing, he said his cat had crawled into the pipes, and he was trying to get her out. He was very happy when I offered to help. He said there was no way we could reach her from here, so if I was willing, I could make my way through the sewers and get her from the other end. 
He said he would turn off the water for as long as possible, but I would have to run, as the pipes would soon fill up again. I happily agreed. So he gave me a key. He said this will open all the sewer gates. Nice. Go through here, then down the ladder, and through the big door at the bottom. We're not big fans of uh, water though, bud. What? Why <laughs> don't you go down there and do it yourself, huh? Are you handicapped? <laughs> oh, I'm just teasing. Okay. Where's this crazy water? No entry. Huh? I better run. Yo, shit. I didn't know it was about to get serious like that. He's like, I'd better run. <laughs> oh. Okay. I like this. I all jump. Uh, run. Make your car. I better run. It's like, I'm afraid he's gonna pick up the garbage too slow. Oh shit. Oh! I thought it was just gonna come up like it did last time. Kinda gotta give me a heads up. Ugh. Oh crap. See that gear? Maybe I should just go across? Oh, but it did get collected. Huh. Okay. So you can die. Let's get up there. Let's get back down here. And jump. Man, that's a hard one. Is this supposed to be that hard? There we go. And it looks like I have to go up the, uh, the top side too. Dude, I want to collect the stuff. You're not being very cool. What the heck? Oh, I can't get that yet, so maybe the water's turned off? Oh, I thought those were items for two seconds. Or maybe I should just do that. There you go. So, like, I'm not going to leave something behind. See, like, what the heck? Come on. That bike. I found the old man's cat. She was fine, if a little confused. I was uh. horrified. It looked like me. But it shambled around like something from the film we watched on Halloween. Right? What do I have to do to it? Oops. Well, obviously avoid it now. Yeah. Let's see if I can make that. What kind of... Uh, pixel perfect jumps, huh? Yeah, those guys are scary. Okay, I know where this is. Gotcha cat, yo. The man was happy to have his cat back. What am I supposed to do about those so content with her sat on his lap. I saw a whole bunch of I gears and stuff. I told him about the thing I saw, but he just laughed and said, Those bastard robots, they're always getting up through the pipes. Don't worry though, it'll never get through the big doors. If I had my way, we'd have blown up the lot of them when we had the chance. I wasn't sure what he meant, but I decided now wouldn't be the best time to tell him I was a robot. The man laughed, and said, don't worry, I know who you are, and told me that he knew the old man. No. As we chatted, the man brewed himself some tea. He said that he had worked for the old man, in fact he had lost his sight in one of the old man's factories. Strangely, he smiled at this thought. He always did me right, he said. When I had my accident, the old man said he would look after me. And he did. 
he always made sure I had enough money, and he let me move into this old pumping station on his land. Which reminds me, I have something here for you. He rummaged around behind a cupboard. Then he continued saying, the old man wanted you to have this when you were old enough, but fate wouldn't allow it. He passed me a large box. It was empty. I thought about pretending to be excited, but the man said, wait a minute, it's empty isn't it? He slumped back in his chair. I was robbed a few months ago, he said, almost in a whisper. It's strange, they took practically anything metal, but left loads of food and a brand new <coughs> saxophone. The man looked sad, so I thought I would try to change the subject. I told him about my quest, to clean a million things. This at least made him smile. Yeah, he good. said I was welcome to go back through the pipes anytime I wanted, as nice. there were loads of old things in there that could be cleaned away. Yeah. Like, maybe after I... Oh, I don't want to jump back down there yet. Because I still can't get stuff that's higher up. Maybe I get better boots. Oh. It's still trippy as hell when that happens. All junk cleared. I think I'll take the ceiling out. <laughs> Seeming like we get some pretty cool power ups or something. Can I go in here now? No. I got the key. Oh, I do have the key. Is there junk on the ground? No, but there's junk up here. Can I go on the door? It's like they stop there. Oh, cool. The gate was locked. I would need a key to open it. That's cool. Got our own old basketball hoop. Okay, looks like we're going this way now. So I wonder if I could have made that jump there. Unless there's some other way of doing it. Or this way. No, so I can't make that. Oh, that's trippy on the, the eyeballs. Ooh. Jump down, just stuff on the ground. I wanna go back down here. Sounds like someone's screaming for help back there. <laughs> hey, look at those guns. Uh -uh, I like guns. Sounds really like someone screaming for help back there. Well, I can't make that jump. Dude, I hear you. I'll be there in a second. I got garbage to clean up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Jeez. Sounds like a fire. In a minute. Are you guys in here? Ooh, lots of garbage. Whoa.
Yeah, let's see, this place isn't for me yet. I need my rocket pack. Coming from one of the bedrooms, but the stairs were blocked by a wall of fire. That's okay, I can see when you. The people screaming turned out to be a man, a woman, and their children. They were confused and terrified. At first, the man looked like he was ready to fight me. Oh my god. But after I convinced them that I was there to help, he calmed down. There was no way I could carry them all at once, so the children went first. I'm gonna check out what's in the other room. Hey kids, you like that? Pretty cool, huh? I dropped the children off at the front door and promised them that I would be back with their parents. Oh, I'm gonna go check the garbage. What's in here? See? I can't miss any garbage here. Yeah. Please don't look like it's burned down too fast. Getting much worse, so the woman went next. Okay, it was. Oops, I pushed the button. Thing is getting crazy. Oops. I I jumped instead of run, but you can't even run right now. Very soon, yeah. When we got to the front door. All the woman said was, thank you, please hurry. I couldn't leave oh. while people were in trouble. Oh, okay, looks like we're going through the, the living room. By the time I managed to get back, the man was unconscious. I had to pick him up quickly, as I could tell the house was going to collapse at any moment. Oops, I keep pushing a button every four is time to move. Yeah, let's go. It doesn't really feel like there's any rush, like nothing's happening. Can't run. family set up a tent so they had somewhere to stay. The kids were excited as they got to camp outside, but they I think they knew they everything. had just lost yeah. their home. 
When I mentioned my quest to clean a million things, the man said I should look through the rubble of the house, as they had no use for it. So, when everyone was making dinner, I looked through the wreckage. Nice. There wasn't anything I could clean, but to my astonishment, I found a TV set and a games console. Oh, With a bit true. of fiddling I was able to get them to work. So I sat playing games with the kids until their parents said it was bedtime. As we talked, the man opened a bottle of wine. I asked what had happened, why was everything so ruined? The man looked at the woman, then the woman sighed and said, There was a war. Yes. A war, said the man. One side of the planet attacked the other, and before we knew, it was all over. Everything gone. Everything destroyed. Well, it's late, said the woman. We should really get some sleep. Help yourself to anything you need, and we'll see you tomorrow. In the morning, I asked the man if he knew what had caused the fire that had destroyed their house. The man smiled, crap old house, bad wiring, constant electrical surges from the unreliable power plant, take your pick. He said, if we had the money, we'd move to the mainland. But we can barely feed ourselves, let alone buy a new house, so for now we're left here with the rest of the scum. But he did say I should head to the mainland, as there would be plenty there for me to clean, and a better quality of rubbish. The man said, before the war, my lovely wife used to be a fisherman. Fishwoman? Fishing person? <laughs> I used to catch fish, interrupted the woman, and, seeing as you saved us all from a fiery end, maybe you would like to borrow my boat to get to the mainland. I was a little scared, but then they gave me some captain software and I was an old salty sea dog within minutes. Nice. Um. Looks like I'm just traveling for now. I took the fisherman's boat to the mainland. The fisherman was right. Everything was in pieces. Everything had been destroyed. I docked the boat, in some ruins. They must have once been a town. I can see. And I can't run on that wall. Okay. Here we go. Go 
took me a second to wrap my brain around the physics of this. I was confronted by a lovable fat old dog. He almost looked pleased to see me. Suddenly, three men appeared holding large guns. Or at least two men and what looked to be a pregnant woman. Why would you be wearing masks? Incredibly, it was Mr. Silton. Huh. I thought you'd been shut down, he said. I mean, it's been years. I'm not really sure what happened, I replied. I then told him about me cleaning a million things. He laughed and said, nothing changes. He then showed me into what was surprisingly a really nice house. Please excuse my husband, said the pregnant lady. I'm Edwina, but everyone calls me Eddie. I believe you know this idiot. And that's Preston. We've met. Said the small man, it was me that delivered that thing, remember? All you used to deliver was weed, mumbled Mr. Silton as he put the dog dish on the floor. And, I was there that night, when this twat was off his face on mushrooms. Thanks for letting me and the dog stay, by the way. Yeah, well, we like the dog, said Mrs. Silton. And I suppose I've got you to thank for us meeting. What with you giving Barry those dodgy magic mushrooms? She pulled out an old photograph, it was one that Heather had taken the night I had saved Mr. Silton. It reminded me of everyone else, so I asked what had happened to them. Mr. Silton said Alice had a small place in the countryside. The professor had holed up in one of the old man's factories. Mr. Deck was, believe it or not, now a presenter on the only state television channel. And Heather and her mother lived on a government compound where they both worked. I asked about the old man, surprised that Mr. Silton hadn't mentioned him. He's... he's dead, said Mr. Silton. Sorry, I thought you knew. Anyway, said Mr. Preston, I thought you said that robot thing found the mushrooms for you, in that <laughs> orders manky old barn. Mr. Silton looked embarrassed. Well, said Mrs. Silton, I guess we've got you to thank for getting us together then. Time for bed I think, said Mr. Silton, make yourself comfy, and we'll see you in the morning. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching this episode of Horus. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun learning the mechanics of this game, the gravity twisting of the, the rooms and whatnot. 
sure is fun great platformer i recommend it please like comment subscribe follow me on facebook mixer twitter instagram i hope to see you in the next episode